and that family, I cannot believe we are getting ready to say goodbye to each other. It seems like it just went by so fast. It just seems like yesterday I was greeting you and you were coming into my classroom and everybody was a little nervous trying to figure out where you're sitting, getting to know one another and just kind of figuring fourth grade out and now here we are saying goodbye and you're getting ready to go into your summer vacation and preparing for fifth grade. It has been quite a year. I was looking back and I was kind of going through pictures because I love pictures and I was just looking at all of the fun things that we did together this year. Things I had forgotten about. Um, some of the things like the pumpkin carving or digging out the seeds and how some of you were so grossed out by that and then eating them a couple days later. Um, just the different Kagan things that we did. I found pictures of you all making letters and, and numbers and things like that together building marshmallow towers together. And I think that was the thing that I kept coming up against or coming up with is together. And I told you from day one that we were a family and families stick together. And I saw that. You came into my room and you were, I think we started the year off with 23 or 24 kids and you were individuals at that point in time. And you were great kids, don't get me wrong, but it took you a while to kind of figure out how this whole Dunlap family worked, how we come together as one group and we work together to accomplish goals. And you did figure that out. And I'll tell you something, that is what has carried you through this craziness of the NTI. You knew that you had family around you, even if we were through computers at the time, to help you and to support you and to love you and to get the job of school done. I am so, so proud of you. You have come so far this year, not just from individual students to a family, but just watching you grow academically, how your scores just continue to increase, how your writings, oh my goodness, your writings from where you were at the beginning of the year to where you ended up, listening to your opinions on animals and just how far you've come in your math, how hard you worked. And I threw some heavy heart stuff at you and you kept at it. I am just so, so proud of you. So, this might be goodbye for now for a couple of months. There's nothing I would want more than to hug each and every one of you. Because I miss you a lot. But, I know we'll see each other again in a few short months. And that we will be able to hug each other. And I expect big, big hugs from each one of you. You'll have to come and find me on your way to fifth grade because now you're gonna be the big old kids in school. And I just hope that you have a great summer, that you get to rest, that you get to relax, that you get to recharge, that eventually this quarantine stuff will be done and you'll get to get out and visit with your friends and your families again. But there's something I want you to always, always remember. I love you and you will always be a Dunlap and you will always have a special place in my heart. Until I see you again, bye.